How excited are you right now? So excited. I can't believe that I'm going to play this for my first time. Bye bye. <laughs> this is not a travel vlog, but I need to tell you this story so that you can understand how I ended up where I did in this video. My wife and I haven't been on vacation in a very, very long time. And we decided we wanted to take our daughter Isabel on her very first one to Punta Cana into the Dominican Republic. First vacation beer. It's good. Once we got settled into our rooms, we did what most people do when you hit a resort like this, and that is explore the beach. That was the first place we went. It was the first time Isabel had ever set foot onto like a real white sandy beach. We spent much of the morning just hanging out exploring the resort and seeing all the amenities that this place had to offer. So yesterday we talked to some people on the beach and uh, one of the guys was telling me about how he could get me a cheap charter trip. It's a bit sketchy, it's kind of off the resort kind of deal. My wife and I didn't really have a good experience doing off the resort excursions last time we were in Punta Cana. So today I'm on the hunt for somebody on the resort to get a charter booked for not too much money. We'll see. Daddy, I, to... I love you, mommy. <laughs> Mr. Nacho. Yes, I'm We're sending you. Fishing. Fishing. Good luck, brother. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that tomorrow, but for now, we've got a beautiful beach to go hang out on. So I'm going to do that. We'll catch up morning. Until then though, we spent much of the second day hanging out, swimming in the ocean, and I spent more time than I probably should have trying to catch these little white fish. That evening, we had an amazing meal at the Teppanyaki restaurant at the resort, which was easily my favorite restaurant of the whole place and the best meal I'd had while we were there in Punta Cana. Hola! Okay, Off we go. A lot more people on the boat than we thought was going to be. Are you sure? I want to sit here? Sit here. I'm good. You guys are good. You guys are alright. Would it be able to? I don't think this would fly for Canadian uh, marine standards. I think this is our vessel for the day. Look here, my friends. It is our bait. The name is Bali. It is okay here for all the kind of fish. All the fish like to eat this one. You know flying fish? You know flying fish? Our bait go on the top of the water. Seems like flying fish. When the big fish come biting our bait, they think our bay are flying fish. Uh, what's the trick to finding the fish out here? You just you just go, or is there something in particular you're looking for? Yes, we're looking for for seaweed, the seaweed, birds on the sky, different things we see on the water. We just um, look for. And when we see birds flying in the same place around, we pass out there, and all mine can take fish at the same time. This seaweed, the small, the small, the small baits on the seaweed, the high on the seaweed, and the big fish are behind to those small baits. So we had our instructions. All we had to do was wait for something to happen. Except nothing was happening. We weren't catching any fish, and we trolled around for a long, long time. And finally, one of the crew told me that the reason we're not catching any fish is because nobody's drinking. So he made me a rum and coke, and I swear to you, not five minutes after I had finished my drink, this happened. <laughs> I 
saw that. Something jumped over there. And just like that, it was over. There wasn't much of a fight, and the way the fish was landed was, to be honest with you, just a little bit unexciting for me. But that's just how they do things on boats like this in a place like that. Interestingly, after I caught that fish, every person on the boat had a drink in their hand. We went a long time without catching any more fish. I will say this though, the crew were busy. They were constantly tending lines, changing baits, doing everything they could to try and entice another fish to bite so that more people could get to catch fish. After a while though, we came across one of those big seaweed beds that we heard about earlier in the video. That's for you. Go. the fish was so foreign to me with the gaff and then just tossing them in that tank to wait for them to perish it's so different than the way we do things back here in Canada with selective harvest and ethical fishing and the way that we dispatch fish to make it as humane as possible but like I said earlier that's just how they do things down there and who am I to judge it's simply that it's different than what I'm used to it's a slow fishing day but was it worth it well, it was for you, you caught the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> Fun day. So while it was a slow day for us, before I left the beach, I met two guys that were going on a different charter. I ran into them later and they told me that they didn't catch anything on the boat that they were on. So even though it was slow for us, it seemed like it was still better than most people fared out for that day. So I'm grateful for that. 
everybody have fun? Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, everybody! <laughs> At the end of the day, I wanted to stick around and see how they fillet these fish up because this is the first time I've ever seen a mahi-mahi with my own eyes and I was curious about how they do it. Because apparently these fish make incredible sushi and while I'm not really into sushi, I was still interested to see it. But my viewing session of the filleting got cut short. If you remember, I talked to a guy on the beach the day we arrived and he seemed pretty adamant that I was gonna go with him. And while I was watching them fillet these fish, he saw me again, and he did not look happy. And while he started making his way over to me, I didn't feel like dealing with the confrontation, so I kind of just ran away. Overall, I really enjoyed the day. Even though the fishing was a bit slow, it was really special that I got to reel in the first fish. I guess I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. The crew were amazing. The other passengers were so interesting and I had such good conversations with them and they were just so much fun to be around. And that made the times in between when we were catching fish a lot better.